Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to make a quick video on my everyday carry first aid kit. This is the kit that I keep in my backpack. Uh, on the front here we have a Velcro first aid kit. I got that on Amazon, like a pack of three. So I have them on three different first aid kits. Uh, I have a eye pack, this little first aid kit, and then a smaller one for like bumps and bruises at the house. Uh, on the back here I have medical shears. I don't really think I need those on this pack, but I have them anyways. And then I have a CPR face shield because you don't want to go putting your mouth on other people's when you're trying to help them out. Uh, on the inside here, I have two sets of tweezers right here. Uh, they have different heads on them. Uh, these are sharper on the blue, and these are lot as sharp on the left. And then I have a couple of band-aids back here. Uh, on the top, I have ibuprofen and Aleve. Then I have a whole bunch of larger band-aids, uh, medical gloves, alcohol wipes, more medical gloves, and I have these little elastic tourniquets that people use just to get a vein for when you're having medical work done. Then on this side, I have my Streamlight Stylus Pro. If you saw my first everyday carry video, uh, I mentioned that I have a whole bunch of these just scattered all throughout my different kits that I have. Uh, they're just nice to, ha nice to have. They're super bright. And for a medical kit, they can be life-changing. Uh, then I also have a lighter in case you need to sterilize anything like the tweezers, for example. Uh, Neil Sporn as well for those band-aids, little bumps and bruises. Uh, then I have larger gauze pads here, the non-stick gauze pads, uh, as well as uh, quick clot. Uh, I have three of those, just one in here and two in my big eye pack. And in the back here I have smaller gauze pads. Uh, and that's it for the Maxpedition Mini Pocket Organizer. Uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks guys. I decided to combine my uh, first aid kit and my fire kit together just to make one long video since they're both kind of kept in my backpack just to kind of keep the category together. Uh, so this is the Maxpedition Fatty Pocket Organizer. Uh, I got this little patch on Amazon, just a little custom fire patch. Uh, I keep a striker for my ferro rod just right on the outside there. Just easy to get to, or not so easy, so I'm not taking it out. But uh, on the inside here, we have uh, two ferro rods right here on the outside. So I have one, two, and then I keep a striker on the back, just kind of around them in the storage. Uh, they work like really, really well. Uh, if I had to be trapped in the wilderness with any ferro rod, this would for sure be it. Uh, then I have. Uh, Gerber, just kind of the same thing. It's a ferro rod, striker, then it's got like a survival whistle, and it's got like SOS on the outside, and a couple other signals just to help you in the wilderness. Uh, in the back here, I have a Gerber knife. I forget, I think it's the Scout knife. Uh, I haven't really used it on much of anything. Uh, I just keep it in this kit, just a knife to have in there. Uh, it is very sharp. It's very durable and hefty. I like it a lot. Uh, also in the back here, I just kind of have generic Walmart matches. Uh, I think the case is waterproof, but the matches are not. So that's just extra matches to have. And then right here, I have uh, stormproof matches. These are what they use on like life rafts and stuff in the middle of the ocean. I'm not going to light one right now. These are like 25 second matches. You can dip them in water or whatever. There's plenty of videos on YouTube about them. And then this little canister is waterproof as well. It's got a little rubber washer right there. Uh, also on the back side of this. Oh, uh, nope. They're in the other one. Uh, I keep two uh, big lighters to shine on the outside here. Quick, easy fire starting. And then I keep this... USF, I believe is what that is. It's like a spring-loaded ferro rod. You just put pressure onto it and strike down and it sparks. 
it's pretty convenient. And then in here I just have like a bunch of wet fire and I have these SOS uh, tenders just for quick fire starting. And then I have two little pencil sharpeners as well just to make a little bit of tender so it's a little bit easier so you're not just using a whole bunch of the uh, wet fire quick start all at once. You can just kind of use a little bit of tender and a little bit of that so you're not using it all. Make it last a little bit longer for all your fires. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. All of my fire stuff right here. And that's just what I keep on me on my daily inside my backpack. Uh, nothing too exciting. Uh, I mean, like I said when I did the backpack video, I'm probably going to reinvent the backpack and make it something else since I hardly really use much of this stuff anyways. Uh, that's it for you guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, thanks. Have a good day.